Hi there, welcome to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. This is Andre from Adobe. In this tutorial I would like to show you how to create this vintage border element with brushes. First I'm going to show you how to create your brushes and then I'm going to show you how to draw with the brushes. Okay, before you start with the borders you have to create some different brushes. Just choose the ellipse tool and now create a circle. So for the color, black for the fill and none for the stroke. Now with the direct selection tool, select this left point and move it a little bit to the left. Now hold down the Alt key and you can move this handle. And now select this point and move it also to the left. So this is my first brush. For the second brush choose again the ellipse tool and create an oval. Now select this point and choose the scale tool and scale it a little bit. Make the same with the right point. Ok, make a copy, hold down the Alt key and drag this shape. Now select these two points and move it to the left. So next choose again the ellipse tool and create a circle. So now go to Effects, Distort and Transform and click on Transform. Enable the Preview. We need 7 copies. And move this horizontal to the left. And scale it to 75%. And click OK. Now go to Objects and click on Expand Appearance. So next select this shapes. And now hold down the Alt key and move it to the left and hold down the Shift key. So next go to the Transform panel and click on Flip Horizontal. Now move this over this circle. OK. And now delete this circle. And the last brush I select only these four points, these four shapes, sorry. Or five. Hold down the old key and move this down. Okay, the next thing what we need to do is duplicate some of these shapes. So I select this shape, this, and this shapes. Now hold down the old key and drag it. So now go to the transform panel and click on flip horizontal. So now I'm going to create brushes from these shapes, but before I do that, it's important to scale this. So this size is one point when you draw with your brush tool, paintbrush tool, and now select first these shapes, 
Now click on this button, this button for the new brush, and make an art brush. OK. This is the direction. I need this direction. And for the colorization method, choose tints and click OK. And make the same with the other shapes. And the last so with the paintbrush tool you can start with your drawing So this three brushes, it's very important to set the brush scale options to scale proportionately. Apply the strokes and make the same with these two brushes. Make a double click on the brush and change this to scale proportionately. Okay, the next thing what I'm going to do is create a new layer. Now choose the line segment tool and create a line, hold down the shift key. Now click on this button, horizontal align center. Now deselect this line, choose the paintbrush tool and choose one of your new brushes. And first create line. So now select this layer group, click on this button, click to target, drag to move appearance. And now go to effects, distort and transform, and click on transform. So now enable the reflect X, one copy, enable the preview. And now click on this left center point and click OK. So now zoom in. And now go to this appearance button or you go to Windows and click on appearance. So now you can click on this transform. And change this little bit. Enable the preview. And move this line under the other line. And click OK. And next, select only this line and change the color to this gray. This line is only for orientation. OK, delete this line. Now I start with this border. So make a double click on the paintbrush tool. And here you can see my options, my paintbrush tool. OK. So I start with this brush, choose black for the stroke. Now first hold down the shift key and create a line. Now 
now choose for example this brush and Hold down the shift key when you draw with these brushes it's very important to set the stroke by to one point. So select all and now go into your group and lock this line layer. Now move all on top. Deselect all and now you can start with the second border. Choose the paintbrush tool and choose black for the stroke color. And I start with this brush and create a small line, change the stroke white Try different brushes. Now hold down the shift key
And here you can see one more border. By the way, in this tutorial I'm working with my mouse, but with a pen tablet is it much easier. That's it, I'm finished. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please press thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to see more of my tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Hope to see you soon.